so there they are all together in robot mode. Is it just me that sees this as an absolute masterpiece? Like how uniform they are, not only like in color, but also like in, in because of the engineering of the transformation, how everything is kind of in the same ballpark, it lends itself to bots that have a cohesive look. Like this is a, a team, it looks like a team. It looks like they all walked off the same assembly line. The, the only gripe I have, I have with all of them, and that's that, you know, I could have used a little bit more paint. Um, but overall, I mean, it's just, it's a tremendous job. It's a tremendous achievement, I think. Like, that is a intimidating crew. And that's the way they should look. They are who they are. Like, they're the Predacons. They're top notch. This set, anyway. People complain about the two years. I'll tell you what, I'll take the two years any day of the week. I'll wait two years if you can get me this at the end of the road. And there they are in animal mode. And I got to tell you, like, this is what I always talk about. Like, this is the feeling that you are chasing as a collector. Because, like, when you were a kid, you always had these guys in this mode. You know, you never had them in robot mode because they were never in robot mode in the show. This feeling is the same feeling you had as a kid. Like, it feels identical. The way it impressed you as a kid, this impresses you as an adult. Like, I'm so nostalgic right now. Like, I have the exact same feeling. And that's really, for me, what the collecting game is all about. You know, it's, it's that high. Like, you're chasing that high. You know, you're chasing the high of being a kid and having that toy and having that feeling and having that experience all over again. And this does it. I'm having it right now. But it can't stop here. So let's get them ready. All right, to get this guy it's the same as Ford, just flip the head down into that location. Um, pull these out, which kind of reveals the port. Flip the port up. And collapse all the legs which is, I gotta tell you, I'm feeling a little impatient at the moment. And I don't feel like collapsing all these legs. I f feel like I want them to be done already. Same on the bottom. That's my phone going crazy. And then snap that up into place. Fold the back arms down. Well, I guess we'll open up this first. Slide the foot in. Then you attach this part, you do the same thing to uh Bovis, I mean Fortis, it just stabilizes it back there. I don't know if I mentioned that the last time. And then these come down and they plug in to the feet. And then these two pieces plug into one another. And he's done. I've already taken the liberty of removing all the accessories just so we can mainline this a bit. Um, First thing you want to do is get the head out of the way and by spinning it around and then clicking it down and then that tabs into place there. Um, the next thing you want to do is kind of get all of this back up into you know the folded up bits which we've covered before. So I'm just gonna 
be about it as opposed to talking about it. I'm a little bit on the excited side. Can you, not sure if you can tell. And do the same at the bottom. Really tight ball joints, which is nice. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, ball joints are not my favorite thing in the world, and it's nice when they're actually done well. And then you gotta plug this fella in, which is not always the easiest thing. There you go. Just a tab at the top and at the bottom. And there you have it. Okay, you gotta open this back up and swivel these down. And that'll expose the port. Really nice ratchet on it. And then these plug together here, almost like they were made that way. Get the foot, bring her up. And this has got to go in the middle of here. So, open this up as far as you can. And this is not the easiest thing in the world to do this way. But, it is definitely possible. Got to work it in there, girl. There it is. And he's good to go. Split the legs, let the tail fall out. And we can get the arms situated. That's easy. Combine our port out, which is ratcheted. And what you need to do is this needs to plug in there. So bring that down. And then it tabs also into the side, like so. And then you can cover that up with the little pole. So same thing on the other side. Out. Down. And if it doesn't eat me alive, which it looks like it's trying to do, tab in, cover up, split this, bring that down, bring this whole headset, head assembly, it, it came unplugged, if you remember it plugs into the back of the head, down, and there's a, a little notch here, and that plugs in like so. Like so. That's another thing that everybody says all the time. And then lift that out. Once you have this out, bend the head back 90 degrees. And get these guns out of your way. Turn and twist. Back up 90 degrees. Down into place. And then just get your... self-situated. This is the only part where I wish there was some way to lock this yellow piece in. I mean, it fits in there snug and nice and everything, but you know, I just wish there was something that locked it. But all in all, very cool. Okie dokie. I had this uh, shield fall off. I'm going to pick that up real quick. So that was plugged in here. And that's actually a big part of this transformation. We're going to get the legs situated. So, pull them out. You can pull them out all the way this far. I think that's a bit overstated. So I do the one notch. And that's kind of the height that I want. 
this thing, if you remember, uh, will eat you up. So we're going to save that for last. Get the legs situated. That plugs in there. Um, there you go. Another one. Do it the smarter way this time. Plugs in. Nice. So nice. Okay. Mine just came undone again. This is a. Uh, this is the only fiddly piece in all of this. Now, once it falls off, you know, you can do it a lot easier. But we're going to pretend it never fell off, so we're going to do it the... We're going to try to pretend, and we're going to do it the hard way. So... We're going to try. There you go. Split that in half. Bring this down. If you look on the other side, that untabs there, and then it extends down. We're going to keep this piece still while we rotate the legs around to give the gold abdomen in the front. So, we have this, bring it around, turn it through, extend this handle here, and that plugs in right there. Close the legs down. I find it better if you can hinge that up like that. Bring these flaps down to kind of cover that side up on both. Very nice. Ports down. Guns up. And there you have it. All right, so to get Leo Dux's batteries in, take these bottom two screws out of his head. Batteries go in. I wish I could tell you they say AG2 on them. Uh, mine came from TF Source, so like it, I didn't have to buy them myself. Um, the side with the contact, the bump outside, goes down into the head. I'm not a big fan of putting batteries in figures, but and then once you have it back in, uh, there's a button on the back of his head. Let's see if I can. That's pretty awesome. Remove the wings. That takes off a large part of your your issue here. Fold up the the feet. Spin it around. And spin the flap or the tail the other way. And that is it. Open up. Dump a hand in there. And there you go. The head comes down like this, and as far as the robot head, you know, I'm not exactly sure. I've I've been kind of just tucking it around like that, and then holding it up, you know, to kind of make this seem like one whole cohesive kind of piece right here. As far as this, you just kind of pretty much do the same thing. Um, you should do to get them in robot mode. Tap the 
arms in there. And he is going to be the left arm, so you want that, that articulation there. Open that up. Bring the tail back. Bring the hand in. I think use that arm. Yeah. Bring those up, maybe. Yeah, much better. All right. Um, let's get that like that. And then do the same thing you did to, to transform this, which is bring these up. Turn the foot around. You got to keep the pole kind of flat there. Push it through. Make sure on the other side it's squared up. Bring it up. And that tabs in there. In there. Same on the other side. Bring this up if I can do it. Around, keep it flat, push it through, smooth the silk, bring it down, tab in, and there you go. Okay, this sword can eat you up, and it's kind of got to be done a certain kind of way. So take the hilt and take, I think these are forces knives, now that they're all separated, I really can't tell, and they slide in right there. Um, it may not seem supernatural, so to speak, to you. Um, at this moment, but when you get it in there, you will definitely see what I'm talking about. Wrong sword. Take the hilt, plug the hilt in. Good to go. Take these pieces and the teeth interlock. And then plug that in. And then these teeth interlock. Plug that in. All right, once you get it to this, take this and this, interlock, back, snap in. Once again, take this and this, interlock, snap, plug in place. Take tigresses knife plug it in there and the whole assembly plugs in like so same on the other side and it kind of has to be done in that order And that's that. I mean, it looks like a knife. I would, you know, that's not a knife. All right, gun is next. Um, start with these two pieces. This piece in here swivels on the inside. It's 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 a tough thing, mutter, so to speak. But uh, it's really pretty smart because they didn't have to remold it. It's the same. You just swivel the piece on the inside. So take these. And it takes a good bit of elbow grease to get it all the way through. Right, so, and then these pieces go in the side. I forget whose guns are whose with the. And then these pieces go on the top. I think these are tigresses. I just got them, but I'm, I'm so excited. And then this piece folds up and sits down the middle. Now that 
feel like that should okay there it is you gotta push it in um and yeah how about you okay so I have to do it like this um you know how to put it together the ports go in the holes pretty self-explanatory so ready wow just take that in for a minute that is pretty awesome he is a monster let's do some size comparisons intimidator hercules and the g1 for good measure look how obsolete he looks now you know what i mean like remember when he was like the biggest baddest combiner you could ever possibly imagine so crazy heads on a ball joint Waist swivels at razor claw like you've seen. Um, arms are on ratcheted uh, swivel, basically universal joints. And then you have the elbow in and out. Double jointed at two places. And bicep swivel, wrist swivel. Fingers are articulated at two joints, including the thumb. Same on the other side. I'm going to take the sword out just to... Or maybe I won't. Uh... Thigh swivel and double jointed knees and ball jointed hips, I mean uh, ankles, and then uh, there is a toe pivot as well. Final thoughts. He is impressive. He is solid, but it is not perfect. The sword is awesome, but it's maybe too big. It's very heavy. The ratchets can't support the arm holding the sword in my, in my experience. I'll show you. And, but, you know, he's not going to hold it dynamically because it's just too heavy. It's beautiful, but it's just too much. It's just too much. Um, I could have also used some heel spurs on the back of his feet because he has a tendency, once he starts to roll back, and he is a little back heavy due to the wings and such, the weight is pretty evenly distributed, I must say, but, you know, if you get him in the pose where he's going to be a little back heavy, he's going to topple. He's going to topple because there's no real heel spur. The kibble, for lack of a better term, because it's really not that kibbly, but the, the, four, the, the front arms of Fortis and Bovis do get a little bunched up at times in the back while you're trying to manipulate them. I, I understand this par for the course. I understand it's the cost of doing business. I'm just saying it for the sake of saying it. That being said, he is my favorite combiner, and I have to be honest with you. Now that I have him complete, I just I never thought this day would come. I always imagined it like... Bobby, you don't have much time left. I'm here, the kids are here, the grandkids are here. Is there anything you'd like to say? I never finished my farewell ranks. He is the greatest combiner that I have. I would have liked heel spurs. Hopefully another company will come along and make like a little $20 kit that you can add on just to keep him from toppling over. Uh, I wonder if my buddy T2RX6 will come up with some sort of fix for that ratchet on that shoulder just to make the panther or the tiger shoulder a little bit stronger to be able to hold the weapon in more dynamic poses. If you bear the weight of the sword across two hands, it's not an issue. Both ratchets can hold it just fine. But one ratchet struggles with the weight of the bot plus the sword. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. All hail the king. I gave you five reviews this week, so I'm going to take it easy next week. I'll be back next Friday. Until then, keep up with me on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, and uh, I got all the, the information down at the bottom, how to follow me in those places, and I'll, I'll be in touch. But uh, I'm going to take a break. I usually do three reviews a week, and I give you five, which I don't mind doing. I love doing it. I love you guys. But uh, my wife is going to kill me at some point, really properly kill me if I, if I don't spend a little time doing husband things all right so thanks for listening thanks for watching till next time take care
So there they are all together in robot mode. Is it just me that sees this as an absolute masterpiece? Like how uniform they are. Not only like in color, but also like in, in because of the engineering of the transformation, how everything is kind of in the same ballpark, it lends itself to bots that have a cohesive look. Like this is a, a team. It looks like a team. It looks like they all walked off the same assembly line. The, the only gripe I have, I have with all of them, and that's that, you know, I could have used a little bit more paint. Um, but overall, I mean, it's just, it's a tremendous job. It's a tremendous achievement, I think. Like, that is a intimidating crew. And that's the way they should look. They are who they are. Like, they're the Predacons. They're top notch. This set, anyway. People complain about the two years. I'll tell you what, I'll take the two years any day of the week. I'll wait two years if you can get me this at the end of the road. And there they are in animal mode. And I got to tell you, like, this is what I always talk about. Like, this is the feeling that you are chasing as a collector. Because, like, when you were a kid, you always had these guys in this mode. You know, you never had them in robot mode because they were never in robot mode in the show. This feeling is the same feeling you had as a kid. Like, it feels identical. Bottom. That's my phone going crazy. And then snap that up into place. Fold the back arms down. Well, I guess we'll open up this first. Slide the foot in. Then you attach this part, you do the same thing to uh Bovis, I mean Fortis, it just stabilizes it back there. I don't know if I mentioned that the last time. And then these come down, and they plug in to the feet. And then these two pieces plug into one another. And he's done. I've already taken the liberty of removing all the accessories just so we can mainline this a bit. Um, first thing you want to do is get the head out of the way and by spinning it around and then clicking it down and then that tabs into place there. Um, the next thing you want to do is kind of get all of this back up into you know the folded up bits which we've covered before. So I'm just gonna be about it as opposed to talking about it. I'm a little bit on the excited side. Can you not sure if you can tell. And do the same at the bottom. Really tight ball joints, which is nice. Uh, you know, I'm. I'm Ball joints are not my favorite thing in the world, and it's nice when they're actually done well. And then you gotta plug this fella in, which is not always the easiest thing. There you go. Just a tab at the top and at the bottom. And there you have it. Okay, you got to open this back up and swivel these down. And that'll expose the port. Really nice ratchet on it. And then these plug together here, almost like they were made that way. Get the foot, bring her up. And this has got to go in the middle of here. So. Open this up as far as you can, and this is not the easiest thing in the world to do this way.
but it is definitely possible. You just gotta work it in there, girl. There it is. And he's good to go. Split the legs, let the tail fall out. And we can get the arms situated, that's easy. Combiner port out, just ratcheted. And what you need to do is, this needs to plug in there. So bring that down. And then it tabs also into the side, like so. And then you can cover that up with the little pole. So same thing on the other side, out down and knuckle. The way it impressed you as a kid, this impresses you as an adult. Like I'm so nostalgic right now. Like I have the exact same feeling. And that's really for me what the collecting game is all about. You know, it's it's that high. Like you're chasing that high. You know, you're chasing the high of being a kid and having that toy and having that feeling and having that experience all over again. And this does it. I'm having it right now. But it can't stop here. So let's get them ready. All right, to get this guy the same as Ford, just flip the head down into that location. Um, pull these out, which kind of reveals the port. Flip the port up. And collapse all the legs, which is, I gotta tell you, I'm feeling a little impatient at the moment. And I don't feel like collapsing all these legs. I feel like I want them to be done already. All right. Same on 